on the grind, yeah, I do this all the time Yo, wake up in the morning, go get a state of mind I done feel so many times, but I gotta keep trying I ain't giving up, go put it all on the line, yo SCT from 803. Listen to this extended um, clip with Martell and Nell Fletcher. And we will get into this commentary, okay? This is some good tea, and he got caught lying. Here we go. Let's do this. Um, remember, all things on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, learning, teaching, and everything else. Here we are. Bye. Hey, y'all. Totally sassy tea from 803. How you guys doing? doing good I'm doing good um I am here to do a video on Love and Marriage Huntsville the C uh, series that came on last night um I did do just a, a live on it but it wasn't in depth um plus I was half asleep because I fell asleep on it so this morning I went back and rewatched it okay and let's be clear before I get started remember all this things on this channel is alleged in my opinion it is for learning it is for teaching it is for entertainment when entertainment applies okay let's be clear <clears throat> it was not boring because Wanda wasn't on there it was not boring it was just a lot of editing that didn't make sense okay it kind of threw me for a loop because I'm like where did this come from where did that come from when did they have the conversation why are they not showing the conversations before this you know what i'm saying so it, it left a big puzzle for me <clears throat> but anyway i am going to start with marceau and teacher because i thought that was interesting an uh, interesting dynamic okay very interesting dynamic um before we get started with this remember all things on this channel is alleged it is in my opinion it is my commentary it is what i observe it is what i see is that is happening um on the screen in front of me now my commentary can it change upon what else transpires yes but as of right now this is what i see and this is what i commentate on okay so i hope you guys enjoy it <clears throat> It, again my commentary and nothing negative i try to stay as positive on my channel as per, uh, possible so you know um if you want to give to the channel you can um you guys can go through cash out which is dollar sign teresa lindsey 12 l-i-n-d-s-e-y um that money comes straight to me if you want to give through to the channel um you can do super chats super stickers you can do heart emojis you can join the channel for less than a dollar 15 cent a month i mean a week okay so i encourage you to join um and also i would love for you guys to go to back to reality with sassy t that's my backup channel we do all things reality over there um i will be doing a forum today on things that are happening in our black community so please join me over there i will pose some questions i will look in the comments even go live and maybe have a panel later on this evening okay so thank you guys so we're going to talk about um marcelo and tisha's um event okay at the home okay and like i said uh they were eating dinner and the kids let um were there uh marcelo was 
Uh, don't be trying to, this is what Tisha said, don't be trying to do that, like that, like try to save me. Wouldn't y'all like your mom to cook more at home? I'm sorry, that's Marso. And they, um, they knew I was joking, is trying to find a balanced mark, Marso, so you honestly don't realize how difficult it is because you're not a woman. So Tisha is telling him, you know, you don't understand the uh, difficulties of being a mom, being a businesswoman, of being a, um, uh, you know, multifaceted because you don't go through the emotions like a woman. But Tisha, this is what you chose because in the beginning you was just a housewife, um, going to school, um, and Marceau was happy with that. But now that you're trying to find your way, Marceau has an issue with that. Um, so they, you know, the kids were like, you know, you can also cook dinner. Okay. That's what little Macy said. You can cook dinner too. Mama ain't got to be the only one to cook dinner. And then, you know, uh, MJ said, yeah, like I would, I, I would not take it. You know, the way you talking to your spouse is not acceptable. In other words, you're not, of 17 years y'all been married and you still talking to my mama this way? Nah, it's not acceptable. And you know, they kind of, Marceau was kind of shocked. Why are you shocked, Marceau? Why? There's no point in being shocked because what you put in your children will come out of your children, okay? I know we were always told to stay in a child's place, okay? Times have changed. I involved and talked to my younger, my grandkids. When we had, when I had children that were younger, we would sit at the table. There were no cell phones. We would laugh, kiki, laugh, cut up. And they would tell me how their day was. If I hurt their feelings, they would tell me in a respectful way. And I would tell them why. Okay, because that's open communication. Kids should feel important in the house, but they shouldn't overstep their boundaries. Okay. Um, and I think a lot of kids today are forthcoming because the parents are teaching them to be forthcoming. And that should, it should be. Because today what we're living in is a society full of pervs, okay? So we need to be, um, you know, teaching our kids to be uh, forthcoming at all times, but respectfully, okay? Um, so, uh, it goes on, and um, I don't think that it's fair for you to say you don't understand as a woman. That's what we have to go through because if I turn around and say you don't understand a man, being a man, the idea of protection and provision, it is on you like gravity. You don't shake it. And what Marceau was saying is... If he turned around and told uh, Tisha uh, the protection of a man being a man, to me, in my opinion, he was saying that a man's going to protect and do what he's got to do, but you wouldn't be able to shake it because it will always be on you. Marceau has a way of going around the world and saying absolutely nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing. Um, Just shapes you. Um, he said, being a man... It just shapes your world. I talked to my dad, and he um, is like, what's your day off? And I was like, a, like, man, I don't have one. You know, I don't want you to think that, oh, he doesn't understand what I have to do. He doesn't understand. I mean, I think I got a good grasp on the challenges, you know. Now... Marceau came in and said, you know, I don't think what well, you know what to do. Uh, I had a talk with my dad. He was asking, you know, um, when do I have a day off? And I told him, I don't have a day off. Uh, now, I, this is why I have an issue. <laughs> this tripped me out because in past, Marceau, I, I, the way he was talking, like he's never had um, a relationship with his dad. And all of a sudden, his dad is here. Okay, uh, where did this come about? How did this happen? No, I mean, could you not give us uh, getting into this? I mean, y'all plunged this in. It's like y'all just throwing scenes to make scenes. It doesn't make sense. Uh, if you, if Marceau said in previous uh, episodes, 
they they dad left them and they had they were homeless they had to sleep on the couches and church floors and this and blah say that and then all of a sudden he having this wonderful conversation with this dad i'm like wait what what why didn't y'all show this relationship developing over time i don't get it it just did not make sense to me and if it made sense to y'all let me know. Comment below and let me know if it made sense. It, it did not make sense to me. Anyway, let's move on. Um, it's like, for example, businesses, like, although we talked about your business partners, you know, comment on, I didn't know ahead of time. This is Tisha. I didn't know ahead of time that you was going to, like, pretty much hire him. And that's talking about Mart uh, so's new assistant. Uh, Marceau is saying uh, he hired a new assistant, took Tisha's place, and pretty much took Keisha out, Tisha out of her um, office space. <laughs> uh, yeah, he did that. Okay, but we're going to have a word for Marceau. Uh, pretty much hiring him as an employee with Sculpt, I always thought it was like a partnership. And then although I'm 85% ownership of Sculpt, you're still doing the day-to-day -day transactions. And I want to make sure that when you're making these decisions, I still want you to run those, you know, decisions by me. So you're saying as the owner, okay, now Marceau, let's cut it there. She said now she said that she was 75% 70 ownership on uh Carlos Klein's uh podcast, okay? But now it's 85%. Now I'm confused. Is it 70 or is it 85? Which one is it? Um, she's also saying that Marceau should have con uh, consulted with her before hiring this guy um, to take to be a partner. Okay. Now, this don't make sense to me. You're 85% partner, but you have no say so in who is hired. Marso went run them games with me. Tisha, you need to buckle up and buckle down. Uh, first of all, whatever goes on in this company, because I'm 85% owner, you going to tell me what's going on. You're not going to sneak anybody, hire anybody that I don't know about. And if you do, I'll lock the doors on your A, okay? And you can find you another office space. And you and your partner can go to another space, and I will have my space, and that will be it. Okay, I'm not going to bow down to you. You are male chauvinist. This goes to show you how much Tisha is ruled by Marceau. It is a shame. It is devaluing to a woman for you to do something to a person that own 85%. That shows Marceau is not scared to do nothing because he know Tisha ain't going to do nothing. Okay, this is how this man has treated this woman and she has allowed this and now you want to sit there and say, well, you should have ran it by me. Mm -mm. You allowed this. When things like this happen, you, Martel, Marceau is a man, you got to show, honey. You can't tell him nothing. You got to show him who boss. And it's going to cost to be this boss, okay? Marceau is a joke. And you just let this man do whatever, girl, bye. Um, uh, let's see. We're gonna go on with it, child. Uh, if um, the decisions I want to run those decisions by me, so you're saying the owner, this is more so, the owner of the company, you should be involved in the hiring and firing. Damn straight. <laughs> I need to know who's hired, who's fired. I need to know these people' background. I need to know who these people are, what degrees they have, how much experience. Darn straight. If I'm 85%, you're going to run that ish by me. Okay? You're going to run it quickly. All right? I don't want to hear nothing. Tisha, this is what I say. You don't know how to be a boss, girl. Boss up. Okay? Marceau is acting like he's 85% owner of that company. And you are the other 15%. Girl, get your life right. Tell this joker who it is and what it's going to be. What's wrong with you? Boss up. Mel would never see that's the thing what Mel possesses is why you so mad yeah this is why you're mad
because Mel possess a lot of qualities and you see that in her and you get mad at her which in turns you're really mad at yourself okay you're really hating yourself all right um because you want those possessions you don't know how to do it you don't when Mel tried to show you how to do it you Marceau stopped it instead of you putting your foot down and say look I'm trying to be self-sufficient something happened to you I need to know how to take care of my kids I need to know how to run this company I ain't got time for no BS with you I'm gonna do this and you're gonna sit back and you're gonna watch me do it if you don't like it that's on you Tisha <laughs> girl get it right please get it right because this right here is just ridiculous i'm sorry y'all it's crazy i got notes on my um computer my tab that i you know and i like to go by i, I said i was going to do this a different way scene by scene and do each video scene by scene because i got to get these videos out okay tisha you need to grow up and get a business mind some people are just not business minded me, I'm learning to be business minded. My brother was the business pro, okay? That joke have been business minded since the day he came out the womb. Um, but I was, he was actually teaching me stuff before he passed away because, you know, like I said, I have my jaded um, collection coming. My jaded beauty collection, my jaded um, uh, outerwear collection. I have a lot of different things coming, uh, copywriting. I have a lot of LLC that is going to be up on the LLC. So, yes, I need to know how to do all this because, you know, I'm new to this. I'm a medical professional, okay? <laughs> I tell you how to get meds all day, okay? But when it comes to this business thing, you got to be business-minded. And it costs to be the boss. And ain't nobody going to run my company if I'm 85%. No, not even my hubby. He'll tell you that. But anyway... Uh, she says decision and hiring and fine yeah and she says yeah nobody should come to me and provide me with information about the company that I don't dis uh, I, that I a uh, company that I don't disagree with that's what he was saying uh, why do you disagree because you're the owner fool she just told you why she disagreed Marceau, he, he he know how to work Tisha. Tisha, you let that man run you. And the proper ownership of a corporation is understanding. There is a separation between owner of the company and the daily operation. True. I don't care if it is a separation. If I'm an owner of the company, I want to know what's going on in my company daily. I want reports. I want financial reports. I want to see if these people are on time. I want to see what's spent. I want to see what's coming in. If I'm the CEO, you don't tell me that I separate myself from the company. I never separate myself from the company. What I do is I sit above you guys and I look and make sure all these numbers are adding right, okay? And I make sure that the daily company is running right. If not, then I'm going to have to trinkle my ass down to the ground and get rid of some people. Uh, Marceau, don't play, don't play. See, Tisha, you need to get it together, girl. Cause this man is playing you like a fella on the roof. Okay, a fella on the rope. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. Um, operations of that, and I'm the role of a president. You're the role of a owner. Play your role. <laughs> Robert Kraft can't throw a 15-yard off player. I'm saying Robert Kraft can't throw a 15-yard out, but he has people that he hired to do that. Tom Brady wins all these uh, championships. Tom Brady wins the championship because he's the GOAT of quarterbacks. Tom Brady goes and picks out the best people. Tom Brady is the owner of that, uh, he's the owner of that field. So if he's going to play, he's going to make sure he ain't getting hurt, okay? Tisha, you should be Tom Brady. You should be out here picking and choosing who is going to protect you and who is not, okay? And Marceau is one of them. Starting with him, I would get rid of his ass, okay? 
because he is not a good offensive player. He is not protecting you, all right? Let's get it straight. You know Tisha don't know a damn thing about football other than the ball goes to the other team. She barely know anything about life, period. And then you want to sit up here and talk about Tom Brady the GOAT, okay? Tom Brady is the GOAT because Tom Brady is going to make sure who is on his team is going to be able to know how to play their role. Marceau, you don't know how to play your role. You try to trick that stuff on Tisha. But baby, in all actuality, you don't know how to play your role. And not only that, you a weak role. You already look like a roly role. Oh, weak role. Oh, come on, doe man. Come on, get it right. Get it right. Uh, Rob, it says, um, Tom Brady won championships and Robert Kraft has them sitting neatly inside of his building. Why? Because he owns the team. Owner, I own the building. You don't own the building. 85%. Okay? And I kicked out of my own office. And this teacher said I got kicked out of my own office. <sighs> First of all, I would never got kicked out of my own office because you got sneaked attack. They did a, a, a corporate takeover on you, Tisha. Honey, he snuck and got somebody in. He just told you what he was going to do, but he didn't tell you he was going to kick you out, did he? Because you did not asking the right questions, Tisha. Ask the right questions, honey. Girl, don't let that man run over you. Ooh. Uh, and she said not to be where it is today. She said Scope would not be where it is today if it wasn't for her, really. What did you do? I, I'm i still lost to what Tisha has done for this company. Um, there has not been any, um, how can I say it? There has not been any scenes showing me that you're actually making deals. So I don't understand how Scope got to where it is and I don't know where it is and it seems like it's still lost. Uh, I don't see any projects going on. All I ever see is hard hats and a fake building and, and an empty parking lot or an empty this and empty that. So I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is going on with Scope. And where did you get it from? And how much is it worth? And how many uh, lawsuits have y'all won? Because y'all in that $5.5 million lawsuit with Azalea Gardens right now. Okay? So I'm trying to figure out where is this income coming from how did you get it you didn't show us how you go in and you um you go in and you sell yourself and and show that scope is the better person i didn't see none of that so until i see that it's all fake to me okay um so make it make sense okay so that i mean i don't have to really be involved in any other things just I mean, collect my money. She said, all I have to do is collect my money and keep moving, essentially. I am way more credentialed. Really? Collect your money? No, baby. They'll be collecting their money and keep moving in this company. I'll be sitting back making sure things are done right. But, teacher, you can't do that because you don't know how. You're not a businesswoman, okay? And this is the thing with you and Mel. The male is a businesswoman. She is in control of her business. She ain't no let Martell, nobody come in and tell her how to run her business because she stands firm on what she believes and how she runs it. And this is why you have an issue with male and you have an issue with Kiki because Kiki has more um, self-esteem. She has more get up and go and she's not going to let people push her over. But for some reason, Kiki lets you push her over. But we're going to get that at on my next video, okay? So, um, so she's saying that, you know, uh, I, she's more credentialed than GL. He has way more experience. Marceau is saying GL has more experience than me. It would be crazy for me to walk, um, to walk into the office and start telling him, oh, you should do this and should do that. He's right. Marshall don't have any experience. I don't see any experience. Every time he say he got experience in this, the only thing he has experience in is taking words and going around the world and back. 
Okay, that's the only thing he has experience in. Cause it, what, I ain't seen him build a damn thing. All I seen him put up, pick up a piece of stick and throw it over in the side of the corner of their house. I, uh, it's just not making sense. Ideally, um, may, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. This is an area where he does not have more experience than you but he feels like his idea may be a little bit better than yours and sometimes i feel that way as a leader it's my obligation to communicate that's why i am saying that's why the communication between you and i is going to be extremely important like even with gino moving into the office tisha just don't feel valued with marso that, that's all. Marceau does not acknowledge Tisha's talents. He does not acknowledge her beauty. He does not acknowledge her um, worth. He does not acknowledge anything about Tisha. And does he care? No. Marceau is at the point where he don't like working with Tisha. He said it many of times. He does not want to work with Tisha. Tisha, you sh should not even want to work with Marceau. You should want your own and away from your husband. Something that you can learn to run and master. Let him do him. If he fail, he fails. Honey, get you a prenup over your $5.50, okay? And then when the thing go wrong, $5.50 will still be yours with a little bit of interest, all right? <sighs> you and I going uh, extremely important like even with Gino moving to the office we talked about um, us building Scott Realty but we didn't talk about you well you need to be out by tomorrow like he keeps her out like she's gone like he didn't give up 30 days like bye like his uh <laughs> his degree is on the wall <laughs> okay <laughs> damn <laughs> Woo! Okay, um, communication, communicating right now, and I am trying to get my point across to you. I want you to see it from my side that I should communicate. We should communicate better. Um, I have so much other stuff that's on the community on my plate right now. We have an assisted living development. This is Marte, Marceau telling. We have assisted deliver, living development network that we're finalizing. We're looking to build this hotel, possibly a warehouse. We're finishing up the dermatology office. And so I'm doing all these things. I'm not sorry. I'm not. Uh, he says, I'm not. I'm sorry, babe. I wasn't thinking about that. And so when I saw it, it happened. Of course, I wasn't the one that said, oh, that now I don't care, okay? Marceau is telling her, listen, I've been busy. I've been trying to do this and been doing that. I don't see no dermatology office being built, but okay, I don't see uh, the Fairfield Inn. I don't even see a block laid, okay? But all I see is dust cleared, okay? Ah, he said, we got this assisted living deal where when where did this come about oh all y'all saw this now but there are no collaborations up bringing up to this we need a build up to this so we know what's going on this is what i'm talking about if you got this stuff going on why haven't you guys showed it and then by next season we could actually see you building something this don't make sense it's ridiculous stupid editing Production was all off on this. It's crazy to me. Um, going on, um, going on, but at the end of the day, that's still my space. That was my space. This is teacher saying this is her space. What if it happened to you and somebody sitting in your chair? You see a computer up, you see a degree up, quiet. Frankly, just you just don't know there's not like a commerce going on. Um and before you know it, you know, it's gone. They over that. Okay, so this is my, I, I've, I have gotten a new way of doing my videos. I'm doing it take by take. And my take on this, Marceau, you full of ish. And Tisha, you let him 
punk you out, okay? You can go high and punk other people. You try to punk other people because you don't have that self-esteem with Martha. The same energy that you have with Kiki, you need to give that to your husband, okay? You need to give that to your husband. You need to learn how to stand up to your husband and let, let, you, let him understand. Baby, this is a gift. I am your gift. If I on 85%, you better be careful how you come at me. Okay? Because that building could be mine too. I got the credit. I got the credentials. I got the power. But you don't know how to work it that way. The only power you want to work is over Kiki. So anyway, you guys, you guys tell me what you think about this scene. I will be back with another video on the scene with Kiki and Tisha. Thank you for listening. Share the video. Comment below. Hit the like button, please, to keep me in the algorithm. Yo, this is Totally Sassy T from the 803, and I shall return with another video. Bye, y'all. Have a good one.